So in today's video, I will talk about weapons. I'm gonna go more in detail about weapon talents, the bonus stat, weapon type, and what guns are the best to use, and much more. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. So I've been getting a lot of questions about weapons in general, like what are the best weapons in every weapon type, what weapon talents should I look for, what bonus stats should I roll, and so on. So I think in today's video, I'm just gonna go through that. So let's start out talking about the weapons, and we're gonna start with LMGs. So my favorite LMG and the best one right now is the MG5. It, it actually always been my favorite LMG, because I love super fast rate of fire, and it is pretty damn fast to it. Negev is a bit faster though, so that's a fun gun too. But MG5 is just better on paper and I don't know, I always liked that gun. And one of the reasons is because MG5 always had more headshot damage on a base compared to other LMGs, even in Division 1. So I think it had 20 headshot damage more than any other LMG, so that makes it pretty damn good. So a perfect gun for headshots. So I guess other LMGs worth noting is I guess Bullet King is pretty nice to have, but I also feel like it is overhyped. But it is a great gun though, but I wouldn't say it's the best. MG5 with fast hands is just more damage. Then I guess Negev is pretty good too. This one is a bad roll, I should just dump it. But it's a fine gun to use too. Then we have the rifles, and right now I think everybody knows the classic M1A is completely king. Like it's just so freaking good. And the reason why it is so good is because rifles are balanced around the RPM and the base damage. It got the slowest RPM by far compared to other rifles, so that's why it have a high base damage. And since the DPS is calculated with the base damage and RPM in mind, the lower it is, the higher base damage, and the easier it is to hit all the shots. If you have super high rate of fire, you're not gonna be able to hit all those shots, so that's one of the reasons. But M1A is gonna get a nerf, but there are other good rifles too, depending on how much it gets nerfed. For example, the MK17 is a great alternative as well. And then I guess we also do have uh, Merciless, which I don't have, but also the Diamondback, which is a pretty fun gun. So maybe if M1A gets nerfed, this could be decent, especially in PvP. But the problem with the Diamondback is the mag size is only 5, and you have to reload everything. And you have to reload every bullet by itself, right? But it's definitely a fun gun to use. So that's rifles as well. I guess the next one to go is uh, Assault Rifle. And in terms of Assault Rifles, my favorite gun is for sure the FAMAS, and once again, it's because of the fast rate of fire. And it's also a pretty damn good bloom for Assault Rifle, and right now it's actually the best AR as well. After you could use a magazine on it, it just became king. Because before, the downside was it had low mag, but now you can have a 20 mag in it. Other than FAMAS, I do like my Eagle Bear for PvP, just because of the tenacity buff here. 80% damage reduction until the buff expires, pretty damn strong. If you get 3 kills, you don't take the damage, so really, really strong in PvP. Then we have uh, Sniper Rifles, and the best one there on paper, I think, is the Hunting M44 with the highest base damage, and Classic is pretty damn close to it. I think the Hunting also do have a barrel, which the Classic doesn't. But the named White Death is really good because it gets a higher headshot damage. It had, it got 137 instead of the normal 112 or something, I want to say. Can't remember. So it got more headshot damage as a unique thing. So that's the best bolt action. But also the SVD is really, really good. Probably a lot of people use this one instead. So it's basically if you want to have a bolt action, go Classic M44. If you don't want to have that, you can go SVD for the same auto really really good gun too but with m1 a being so strong <laughs> the snipers are not then snipers are not used that much then of course we have the exotic sniper called nemesis which is uh, bolt action which is super powerful as well you charge it up and you get 100 percent more weapon damage really really good one too for those really big hits then i guess we can talk about the smgs i would not recommend to use the smg in pve and i don't like to play smgs in pvp either but when it comes to SMGs, my favorite have always been Vector, and <laughs> once again, because of the fast rate of fire. It definitely have had its time in PvP, because it have a lot of burst damage. Because it have really good burst damage, but it doesn't have too much in terms of mag size, and you have to reload a lot because you fire so fast. So SMG, honestly, I don't have too much clue about it. I, I don't like SMGs, so I don't see any reason to play them. So I wouldn't recommend them, but if I could choose one, I would use Vector, because I think, yeah, that's just my favorite SMG. The new Lady Death, though, is probably one you would like to get if you like to play SMG. 
super fun gun to use you get movement speed on kill and if you are moving you get stacks and that amplifies your damage by 60 percent which is multiplicative once again then we also have uh, shotguns we're just gonna check here at the crafting <laughs> vendor but shotguns same thing here with smg it's close quarter i don't like shotguns i don't see any use at all in pv really unless we are talking about the exotic one which is really really good for pv especially if you're tanking because melee attacks instantly kill non-elite so red npcs and purple npcs will get one shotted so really really good exotic shotgun for pv but other than that i'm actually not sure what i would recommend i think double barrel got a super big nerf so i'm not sure if that's good anymore like i'm pretty clueless when it comes to shotguns to be honest so yeah you guys would have to figure that out yourself but that's my take on what i think is the best weapons in each uh, weapon class so let's start off with the weapon talents so we're gonna go through here in the library because it's a bit easier so i guess we could start off with rifles since they are pretty popular right now and they do have some unique talents so i guess breadbasket is a decent alternative but it's definitely not in the top one list in my opinion so let's go through the ones that are actually in my opinion the best in slot for rifles so one of them are riflemen so landing headshots at a stack of 10 percent weapon damage for five seconds this also stacks up to five so fully stack you have 15 weapon damage for five seconds and every time you hit a headshot you refresh it so you can keep it up a lot i do know that a lot of you guys are playing on console which makes it harder to be consistent with headshots and even on pc it can be hard to hit headshots all the time so there is an alternative of course which is uh, boomerang so critical hits have a 50 percent chance to return the bullet to the mag and in that way you get a bigger mag size because you will get some bullets back and also the next shot will have 40% increased damage. So a really good alternative. And especially since crit is so strong right now in the game. So I would recommend that one. Then we do have as a utility I guess lucky shot. Which increased the mag size by 20%. You do have to sit in cover though. But every shot you miss you get back. So pretty good if you like to spam your weapon. There is a perfect talent for that. Which is the classic M1A. Baker's Dozen. So then you get 30% mag size instead. So if you like sitting in cover, you could use that one. So those are pretty good. Then we also have Ranger, I guess, which is worth to note. I don't think this is a top talent though, but it's not awful. So it gives you 2% weapon damage for every 5 meters. But keep in mind it says Amplifies here. So that gives you multiplicative damage. So that's still pretty decent. But you gotta be at long range. So I wouldn't recommend this if you can choose, but if you have it, it's fine. Fast hands for rifle is not a good one, but for AR and LMGs, it's a really, really good talent. And then we have Optimist, I guess, not completely useless. Like, you get some damage, but not a top talent as well, I would say. But yeah, I think that's the talents that I would recommend for a rifle. I guess next up is LMGs, since they are really popular as well. So, for LMGs, I definitely think the best talent is Fast Hands, which we looked at before. Because LMGs have a long reload speed, but they do have a fat mag. And since you have crit builds, you're gonna get a lot of stacks for, for the reload speed thing. So 4% and it stacks to 40. So 160% reload speed is what you can achieve. And it's insanely strong. So definitely, in my opinion, that's the best DPS talent for LMGs. Unhinged, I haven't really used this one. But that's good for just pure weapon damage. But you lose some stability and accuracy, so I'm not sure if it's worth it stability you can live with but accuracy it's gonna make your bloom really bad frenzy is nothing i would recommend though so steady handed works similar to fast hands but i think fast hands is better but if you don't have a crit build this is a similar way to extend your mag size but fast hands is just in general way way better vindictive is great for support builds on ar or smg or whatever you play to give 15 critical hit chance and critical hit damage to your team for 20 seconds then strained if you want to go for pure damage is pretty good for lmg especially since you have to fire for like around three seconds when i tested to get the 50 critical hit damage so getting a total of 50 it's, it's pretty huge for those times you're firing a long time though but then you don't have the reload speed close and personal I wouldn't recommend optimist as i talked about before it works but yeah i think those are the talents i would recommend for lmg mainly fast hands it's just best there in my opinion ARs are pretty similar as well, I would say. Fast hand works pretty decent here too, I would say. I don't play much AR myself, but 
Having fast reload is always nice. I don't think it's as important for AR as a LMG though, but it works. For my tank build, I do play Vindictive just to buff my team. Because I'm just a utility slash support, right? I know a lot of people like Measured, but in my opinion, it's not a good talent. Like there's better talents in my opinion. So I'm not uh, so I'm not gonna recommend that talent. Even though your measured melts, it's just on paper not good. Ranger, like it works, but it's nothing special. You have strained here again. So basically same talents as the LMG, I would say. So probably if I had to choose, I would probably let's say for PvP, I probably go strained. And fast hands for PvE. Not too much interesting talents there. Then I guess marksman rifles. You want to definitely go for Ranger, I would say. Because that's multiplicative damage and usually sniping, you're going to be at long range. First Blood for some PvP issues, I guess. Lucky Shots works decent for SVD and you, if you sit in cover, you can spam it. Naked, you need to have no armor. I wouldn't recommend that and it's only 15 headshot damage. But that's basically it for Sniper 2. I mean, I think talents-wise, I just gone through everything. I guess for SMG, having a talent like Strained is definitely good. Outsider is unique for SMG, but I tested it and I don't like it. I don't like Unwavering either. But I think I covered uh, the go-to talents when it comes to weapons. I guess shotguns we haven't gone through, they have some unique talents as well. Pumped up, reloading grants one weapon damage for 10 seconds, stacking up to 25. I don't know what I think about this. It's just, you get a little bit of damage for reloading, but... Uh, like it honestly doesn't seem worth it i guess for pve pummel could be good especially perfect pummel you get three kills and you refill the mag and you get 40 weapon damage but he actually did change this one i didn't notice the last time i read it was body shots now it's just kills finally <laughs> i've been talking about this since the game released i guess till under finally listened it so okay that's pretty good so pummel seems to be a pretty good one especially for pv but then again do you want to use a shotgun in pv you don't right but that's probably what I would do for shotgun. And pistol, you have a finisher, which is really good talent, especially the name one. So that's probably what I would go for pistol. But let's talk about the weapon attribute on the actual weapon. So you have the core attributes, which is always weapon damage for the gun, and then the specific stat for the weapon type as well. Then you have the third one, which you can roll. So a lot of questions here, what is the best to roll and what should you go for? But before I go into that, I think it's important to actually know what's multiplicative here and what's additive in terms of damage. So damage to target out of cover is a multiplicative stat. And same with damage to armor. So basically to explain that simple, so what that means when it's multiplicative is that the weapon damage you have will get multiplied with the, yeah, the multiplicative stats, right? While the other ones will just be added to your weapon damage. So in basically every case, at least how much stats you're getting right now, multiplicative is, is always better than additive. So just keep that in mind. So since those two are multiplicative, those are gonna be the top damage talent you can use. Health damage, I guess, for some specific PvE cases, because that's also multiplicative, by the way. I forgot to say that. So yeah, at number one, I would say damage to target out of cover, then damage to armor, then health damage. And then a critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage. I guess if you would like to do some utility, you have mag size, you have reload speed. But I wouldn't really recommend it. Same with rate of fire. I think the other ones are just so much better. Honestly, just try to always have damage to target out of cover. If you don't have that, then go damage to armor. That's how I would do it. Because for example, if you have an LMG, it's already going to have damage to target out of cover. So you cannot roll it. So then your best bet is to get damage to armor. But yeah, I think that was everything that I wanted to cover. I might have forgot something now because the way I recorded it was not the best. Even though I actually did have a little script here with keywords and stuff. But I just did it in a really bad order. So hopefully this video made sense. But if you guys have any questions at all, just put it in the comment section below and I will try to help you guys. But thank you guys for watching, and if you are interested in more Division 2 videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because 60% of you are not even a sub, so you are missing out a lot, and you guys know it too, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to go the extra mile though, you could become a YouTube member for less than $1 and support me financially. But thank you guys for watching it, and see you guys in the next one.